Right, welcome back once again to Podium Vehicle Reviews. So, first off, before I actually go over this, though, I'd like to apologize for the lateness of this video. I've been helping some people out lately, and that's been really taking up my time, so I do ap I do apologize for that. But uh, we got the Pavistor 811 on the podium this week, and I didn't really have to do very much for this one because, as many people may know, I already have this car. <laughs> so I didn't have to do very much uh, for this. I still won the vehicle because, obviously, you can still make some money off of it. Like, you can just, if you already have the car, you can just sell the other one and get the other one for free. You know, you have to do is just spend the money on the mods. It's actually a pretty good way to make money. So, uh, highly do recommend that. But anyways, though, uh, the 811, this car actually is one of the cheapest ones they've ever put on the podium. I mean, it's actually cheaper than the SC1. And that thing was only 1.6 million. This is only 1.1 million. And actually, I don't know if it's on sale this week, but there are some sales this week on Legendary. We actually need to hit sort by price once to find this thing. All these vehicles, look at all of them. Look at them all. It's a ridiculously sized sale. But, uh, here it is, 811, 1.135 million. And, well, it's pretty damn cheap. <laughs> but, uh, as people might know, this car is based on the Porsche 918 Spider, and with some simple customization here, we got like some weird-looking bumpers. This is uh, the stock one, well, except just painted, and uh, this is the drift bumper I have on there right now. And this just changes a little bit on the rear bumper, not very much. Engine tunes, we have different exhausts, so we have those ones down there that keep the engine block black. And then we have like double exhaust and exhaust up there, so definitely interesting. Uh, the roof, we can do no roof, we can do a stock roof, or we can do custom roof too, uh, which is basically just a carbon roof. Skirts, nothing really too crazy there, just some carbon skirts and street. I'm not sure what the carbon ones on there, but a spoiler um, that just paints the spoiler. And it goes up to a composition suspension, only up to a race transmission and turbo. That's about it. Also, uh, there's something I actually want to ch check out here. I can do this! Okay. So, I'll put those on there later. I'm not going to worry about them right now. So, there is some interesting stuff to note about this car. The first thing is, if you're going to get this thing... If you guys are into doing speed glitches, then this is one of the cars that are capable of that. Basically, how you do the speed glitch, by the way, is you need to make sure you do not have bulletproof tires on this thing, because otherwise it will not work. All right, but uh, I'm gonna use the middle finger so I can get rid of that window on the side. But, um, but basically, what you do is you pop the front two tires of the gun, and then you drive it until they actually pop. So there's like sparks. Basically, you just have rims, and then you're gonna wanna on first gear kind of do this. So, kind of like that, except in this case I don't have the pop the tires pop, so it's gonna just do that basically something like that. You're going to hold both the gas and the brakes at the same time and then that will take you up to ridiculous and ludicrous speeds. Now the whole point of this though is not only to kind of learn some stuff about this car, but also is this car worth the win? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. This car is the single fastest of the sports of the sports class. The super class in this game. It is the fastest one for top speed. Now the reason for that is because there's actually a little bit of a glitch of this car where it gets a whole bunch of curb boost. And um, you don't have to do anything to get that glitch, by the way. It's just automatic. But uh, also, it's all-wheel drive, so your acceleration is also through the roof. And I actually remember a really funny story a long time ago. I was driving down this highway. There was an Oppressor Mark II chasing me, and I was actually going so fast, I was actually smoking the Oppressor Mark II with a car. Like, that was just sad, honestly. But... This thing does hit 140 down the highway at many, many points. Um, it's kind of like the X80 Proto, except the X80 Proto hits 130. This thing hits 140. And it, it's ridiculously fast. Now, obviously, the handling could be better. Like, it does not have that much traction, so you will be crashing this thing a little bit. But the thing is, though, with that all-wheel drive, you can get right back up to your speed with relative ease, which is a pretty good thing to have happen for you. So, overall, yes, this Pfister 811 is probably one of the most worth-it vehicles on the podium. Just if you guys are into hypercars like I am. 
I mean, as my channel name may suggest, Nerfmaster 101 Lamborghini. Now, granted, this is a Porsche, but I still like it, alright? It's still a great car. I know, there's a, I know there's a lot of 918 fans out there, so if you guys have never really had the chance to get something ridiculous like this, now's a great time. But anyways, though, um, that's all for today for our Podium Vehicle Reviews. I have something else to make as well. I'll be releasing another Lambo News video today as well. But thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.